smoke. So for all the fire commissioner has taken me to see for myself Grinfeld Tower and it is extremely distressing and devastating. Can I begin by saying my thoughts and prayers as I'm sure the thoughts and prayers of the entire country are with the family and friends of those in the building and affected by this tragic and horrific fire. We do know that a number of people have uh, died I'm afraid and the uh, commander has given you the figures that we have. I'm afraid it's likely that the figures are going to go up. The fire crews continue to work tirelessly to go into the premises, to extinguish the remaining fire and to search the premises. As you will appreciate, this is a completely unprecedented fire. In my 29 years in the London Fire Brigade, I have never seen a fire of this nature and I have seen many high-rise fires. This will, of course, be subject to a major investigation, but at this moment in time, we do not wish to speculate further about the cause of the fire or the fire spread. That is something that will be closely looked at in the very near future. Uh, seeing the building on completely on fire, hearing people on their phones talking to their kids and wife and relatives. One of the guys, he was Iranian, he was speaking my language, and he, he said, we, we all advised for his children and uh, wives to get a wet towel, put, put it on their mouth, get as low as they can. After 10, 20 minutes, we lost connection, so it was so terrifying. You could see every half an hour, just five people coming out. In the, going, you see the ambulance taking the bed, you know, and coming back empty, you know. They were so slow, they, they were shocked. As soon as I arrived, someone just shouts so, so loud, look at the 17, 18 floors, and look at, oh, look at there, look at somebody's jumping. So, so we all looked and we saw just someone just, you know, guy or girl, man or woman, I don't know. There was a few together and they, some managed to get out and some tripped on bodies that were on the stairs and, and then there was a break up at that point. And we just don't know what emergency services, is where they've taken the children to and we need to know.